What's up guys, in today's first ever Tips and Tricks Monday, I will teach y'all how to create light trails in Photoshop CC. Let's get started. All right, before we add the light trails, I'm going to color correct this into a night scene so that um, you know it fits it well. You'll see what I mean in a second here. All right, so just a breakdown of the color correction I have. I added an exposure. Well, actually, let's start from the beginning. So let's turn this off. Um, let's turn all these off. So I started off with brightness and contrast, and then added hue saturation curves another brightness and contrast black and white and then change this to overlay and fill was 11 percent then add a photo filter made sure it was on cooling for blue then added a levels change the fill to 67 added another curves um and then closed that up and i kind of brushed over to make it a little bit darker um and for the fill it was 60 and whenever you use a brush on an actual photo you use soft light for the mode um, and then I added a second exposure and just turned down the fill to 18% and that's the CC. Alright, so what we're going to do is create a new layer by going over here, new layer, and I'm going to retype this to yellow. Um, we're not going to do like a bright yellow, we're maybe going to go over, maybe like right there, that looks good. And so what we're going to do is um, go over and zoom up on the photo itself. I'm just gonna close this apps real quick. Actually, um, and we're going to basically brush over this line. Now to resize your brush, you're just gonna do, if you have a Mac or PC, you're gonna do a right bracket to go up and left bracket to go down. And we're just going to do this, hold shift and click and continue doing that. But um, see how the road is a little bit smaller. We're gonna start off small. So we'll again, shift and click like that and you'll do this and you're gonna follow all the way through this road. All right guys, so now we have this. Turn on and off and voila, we have that. So what we're gonna do is create a new layer then title this red and we're going to go all the way to the red. Now we're not gonna do solid red maybe go down here a little bit darker and again we're not going um we won't be able to copy this line but we're going to do the same process start from here and go all the way to there and just create a single line all right all right so now we have the red and yellow line it looks pretty cool and in order to fill up the entire road we are going to duplicate each layer and then group them um so that it's more organized so what we're going to do is press command j or control j on our keyboard to duplicate this red layer and then we're going to hold shift and click and then press command control G to group them. And for this, let's just title this red, um, keep it simple. Then do the same thing, command control J, shift click, command control G, and yellow. And then for this, we're gonna open the yellow and we're going to change each one to linear dodge add. Now, of course, this um, takes out some of the color, so for the fill, we can do 80 if we want to. Um, not for the fill. Um, opacity, we can do maybe 80. That's a little too much, let's just go to 90, that looks good. And then we're going to press Command T or Control T on our keyboard, right click and warp this. By warping it, that means we can move the lines um, out, and when we move the lines out, then it brings in the color. Um, it's just basically duplicating the lines on top of each other so it looks bad. So you're going to do this um, as many times as you want so that each road is filled. Don't worry about if um, these lines go over the mountains or anything um, because we will be um, racing that later. So I would suggest maybe doing like three more layers of this but that's just to your satisfaction. And let's go ahead and cut into the time lapse. All right, so I have six duplicates and it actually looks pretty good right now, but we're gonna have to do the same thing for the red. So again, go into the red, change these two layers, shift click, change these two layers to linear dodge add. And actually, now that we know that the color is back in, let's just go ahead and change the opacity maybe to 94. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do 
do that very quickly inside the yellow layer right here, change past to 94. Um, you can see there's a huge difference now. Um, and then again, for the same thing, control or command T for the red copy, warp it and do as many layers as you can so it can fill up and bring a little bit more color into the roads, all right? All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, now just a breakdown, yellow and red. Now the red really doesn't add much, um, but you can see there's a huge difference. We can even maybe put here. No, that doesn't change anything. All right, so we have this, and obviously we need to race these lines. We need to race the car, and then we need to add some extra lighting to make it look more realistic. But first, what we're going to do is turn these layers off. We're going to go above this one, and then do. Um, so very carefully, this is how we're going to create a new photo. Shift, Option, Command, N. Shift, Option, Command, E. Creates all this new cool stuff. It will load. And we're going to title this Remove Car. Now we're going to hit Z in our keyboard, zoom in. Um, and we're going to hit... Oh, I just do that. We're going to hit S in our keyboard. And we're going to hold Alt to choose this spot. And we're just going to brush over it. Now it doesn't matter if you go over the line, we have these light trails to distract us, um, you know, because you guys obviously didn't see this in the photo, if you haven't seen the photo already. Um, this just, you know, allows us to not see that card just in case, and voila, it's poorly removed, but you get what we're doing. And then we're going to do it um, a new layer one more time, shift option command N, shift option command E, and we're going to, when it's done rendering, we're going to title this remove lines, we're going to put this one above, turn these on, create a new layer mask, which, um, click this button over here, and we're going to press command or control I to invert it, make sure your color is black or white, um, white will make it disappear, and that's what we're going to be doing. Now what I would suggest is turn off the yellow for now so that we can focus on one thing and so basically so that I don't make this longer anywhere you see like this that needs to be um, erased that's what you're going to be doing and you're gonna do the same thing for the yellow. Alright so we have this now with the mask on and it looks pretty good there's clearly stuff you can see so let's go ahead and maybe add a soft feather to maybe 5 to 10. Um, 10 is too much, so let's just go maybe 5 and no. And that looks good. Now, with additional lighting, you really won't see it. And with the um, photo zoomed out, stuff like that. So it looks pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and create a new layer. And we're going to title this. Um, let's just title this yellow again. Or, oh, yeah. And we're going to make it soft light. We're going to go to maybe a yellowish color like this, go all the way here, maybe up like that, and we're just going to click, and it's just going to look like that. Now when it looks normal, we have this, um, so let's do that again actually so I can show you normal yellow, um, let's maybe make it a little bit lighter, maybe like this, um, let's make it bigger though. So like that, now we're not going to make it a line, we're just going to make it spots like this so it lights up the road. Don't worry about it going over any of the mountains or road area. When we add that soft light in there, it should make it disappear. So soft light, that looks pretty good, but we don't want that fill all the way up. So we're going to go maybe to like 65, that looks good. Um, and then we're going to create another one. We're going to title this to blue. Now we're not going to make a harsh blue, maybe like a baby blue. That looks good. And again, same process, just go around here, uh, maybe add an extra one there. Try and stay consistent in the lines, not go too off track. Um, soft light again. And again, go all the way down to zero on the fill. Just work your way up to your liking. So I like 51 looks pretty good and then let's add in like an orange but like kind of peachy colors so let's do 
RPG orange. Um, and this time we're not going to, we're going to space it out a little bit in sections where I think it needs it the most. And then we're going to go and soft light that. And this one will be very subtle. We'll probably do like 10%. That's the subtlety. Actually, let's go up to 15. That looks pretty good. Um, and then there's additional stuff we can do. We can even make more lines if you want. Um, but it's definitely coming together. Um, and let's shift click this, group that, command G. And let's just title this um, a trail lighting. And basically what we're going to do now is add a brightness and contrast. Um, I don't know, maybe do this and that. Now the sky is kind of bad. I would probably replace that sky. Um, and as you add this on, you can see that you kind of need to make the fiery effect more fiery. So we're going to actually do an actual orange effect. And we're just going to drag it like this. We're not going to do a shift click. We're just going to drag it. Um, and we're going to add a soft light on that. And we're going to turn that down. 25 and basically this shows that if you need more red lines then you can create more red lines or even yellow so if for example we need more yellow since they are um, out more we can just make more go back in um, you know add any more we feel like <laughs> we need to and just basically continue to do it. Um, I really don't like that I erased this, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this back. That looks good now. Um, so anyways, it's basically all about lighting. I spent hours on this trying to match the lighting, but basically the more you do, the more adjustments you do, you'll end up with a photo like this. So you can tell that I added in more lines um, and obviously I have a nice sky replacement, um, I added some glow around here, so it's just more of a fiery effect, so you get the idea, I mean, you can do stuff like that, I mean, if you maybe added in an actual white, and, um, you just drew the line again, and instead of going to soft light, you would just drop the fill to like this much um and you could even duplicate the yellows and the reds and you could even group these together and title these white trails and you could even duplicate that again and you could even you know move this around um which would look really cool and of course, because of this masking, um, you'd have to fix that. I mean, by having it on black, then you'd add these colors back in. Um, but yeah. Well, that's it for today, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to. And also, go ahead and comment below if you enjoy these type of tutorials or what you'd like to see on this channel. I am open for any suggestions. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Okay.